Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to the MongoDB playlist and here we are talking about the relationships one to one, one to many, many to many. In the last video we talked about one to many relationship and in this video we are going to talk about many to many relationship. So here we are going to create index.js and models.js. Same as the earlier video, we will create all the models. And here the simple example we are talking about is let's say we have two collections one is the tutorial and another is a tags uh, one single tutorial can have multiple tags tags like c++ c javascript java node.js and a single tag can be assigned to a multiple tutorial so it's like a many to many relationship that means one entity can belongs to n and a single entity from the right hand side can belongs to n entities from the left hand side it's like simple blog post and the tags a single tag can belong to many blogs and a single blog can have many tags so it is many to many in the relational database there is always a third table which contains the blog id and the tag id in this and maybe the uuid which is primary key and these both are foreign key inside that this is how we do in the relational database but how do we do in the mongodb okay so we will define the schema models for that and then we will see how it is different so what we will do is we will create a tag so it is same the tag model will have tutorials as an array and the tutorials will have tag as an array simple so it is like okay tag is going to have tutorials as an array and then tutorial is going to have tag as an array simple so we have already written these many times so we already know how to write the schema model so here you can see the schema here tutorial is an array of object ids here tag is an array of object ids inside tutorial so tutorial has an array of tags tags has an array of tutorials that's it and now when we talk about okay how this is going to fit in our schema how we are going to insert update and all these things then it is always going to happen you create a tag you associate tag with the tutorial you create a tutorial and you associate the tutorial with the tag that's it it's, it means uh, a tag will have a reference of tutorial and tutorial will have a reference of a tag okay so as we have already talked about a lot of examples i will just cut short this and we will talk about the right things here we can import uh, the models models are like okay module dot export and we are exporting tutorial and the tags and i can import them require form and here i can have mongoose I can require mongoose because we are doing uh, MongoDB connections and all, all those things before doing all those things. So MongoDB is dot connect, mongoose dot connect. So we are connecting to the test DB. So first of all, what we will do is mongoose dot connect. We have already written this man, many times. 27017 okay if connection is successful we will create tutorial right how we are creating tutorial tutorial dot create tag dot create tutorial dot create tutorial object if tutorial is created return tutorial create tag so we have a tag model tag dot create pass the tag object and return the tag now we need to combine both these things means first you create tag you create tutorial then you create tag and then associate tag to the tutorial and add tutorial to the tag okay it's like a mix right so what we are doing is add tutorial add tag to the tutorial so for that we need to just pass the tutorial id and the tag object 
I'm just doing cut short this. So here tutorial dot find by ID and update, and then we will just push the new tag ID. That's it. And similarly, we will do the another method is add tags to the tutorial. Right? There are method is add tag to the tutorial, add tutorial to the tag because it's many to many. If you are create populating tag to the tutorial, then you have to populate tutorial to the tag. Add tutorial to the tag. So here we are doing tag dot find by ID and update. We have tag ID and the tutorial object. We are tutorial ID. We are doing push. That's it. Right? And whenever you wanted to do populate, like let's say I'm, I'm writing one function is get tutorial with tags. Okay, you can get all these things together. So here we are passing, let's say, the, the tutorial ID. So what it will return is tutorial dot find by ID and you pass the ID and then you can do populate. So in the tutorial, I wanted to populate tags. So it will populate the tags for each and every tutorial. Right now, you can write a simple function to orchestrate all those things. Const run equal to async. And here you keep calling these methods. Let's say const to you tutorial one await create. So we already have these methods create tutorial first. And you have to pass the object. And here we are passing title and author. And this is tutorial one. We have now we can create tags. Tag one, tags two. And we can call create tag method. Create tag two times. Let's say the tag name is here. The arguments are name and slug. Okay. So we have created two tags. Now we can add these tags to the tutorial. What we need to call is add tags to the tutorial. Uh, why there is a problem? Identifier expected. I don't know why it is reporting this error. Maybe just a warning. So here add tag to the tutorial. This we are calling. Here what all things we want to, to pass is tutorial.id. Tutorial ID and the tag, the first tag. This is the one. Then again, we can pass the second tag. So both the tags has been added to the tutorial. Then once that is done, you have to add tutorial to the tag. So here you can create const tu tutorial one. Const tutorial 2. We created two tags and two tutorials. So step 1 is done. Now add tutorial to the tag. I mean it's like so here we have tutorial 1.id tutorial 2.id and this is getting added to the first tutorial. So tutorial.id and uh, what we are doing is add tutorial to the tag. So first we are passing the tag ID instead of tutorial it should be tags 1.id it should be tags 2.id and this is a tutorial 1 object this is tutorial 2 object. So same thing we are doing adding tags to the tutorial and adding tutorials to the tag and then this is it. Now you can populate and you will see the tags are coming with the tutorials. 
So now we can see this thing running. I have just started this. So we are doing tutorial tag and then adding tag to the tutorial and adding tutorial to the tag. It's the same operation. Here we are pushing the tag ID. Here we are pushing the tutorial ID. And then we have these couple of methods and we can run this and test it. Node index.js. We are creating tutorial, creating two different tags and then adding these tags one by one to the tutorial and then adding these two tutorials to the tag one by one. Okay, I will post this example also so you can take a look. These are all relationships. We have one to one, one to many, many to many. And in the actual example, when you write the APIs with the Node.js, let's say the restaurant application, where you have a restaurant, restaurant will have a meals, restaurant collection, meals collections, users, orders, and all these things. You will have these same kind of relations if you have to define inside models, like one to many, many to many, and one to one. Here it can be a simple restaurant. Restaurant will have provide multiple meals, which is an array of the meals collection. So meal will be a different collection, restaurant will be a different collection. But restaurant will have a meals as an array of object IDs because that all the meals, uh, all the meals belongs to that particular restaurant. Then the order, order will have a order is done by user. So order will have a user reference. Order will have the the meals array of meals. Order will have a reference to the restaurant for which to which restaurant we put a placed an order and what all different meals we placed. Uh, in that particular order and who is the user with who is placing the order all these references we should be able to store using mongoose okay that's it guys now we will write the node.js express application with mongoose after talking about these associations